It's been nearly two weeks since the Menominee Casino was forced to shut down its operation. It all started last month when a cyber attack shut down one of the largest oil pipelines in the United States. Then a local casino fell victim to hackers. NBC 26's Ben Bogan has more on the cyber attack that has left the Menominee Casino closed for 13 days. Here at the Menominee Casino Resort, there are no flashing lights. There's no loud music and there's not even a single car in the parking lot. That's because the casino has been closed for nearly the past two weeks. Due to technical difficulties following a cyber attack, the Menominee Casino has been closed since June 11th. Tribal leaders previously hoped to reopen by the end of last week. The casino says it doesn't believe hackers got to any secure information. But members of the community, like Gary Williams, who go to the casino weekly, are afraid their credit card info might be compromised after the extended closure. They can't make money for the community itself. I mean, I know that the casino does provide a lot of money for the community. Like, it funds, like, sponsorships for, like, the college and stuff like that and for other businesses and stuff. So, I mean, I feel like the, the money impact is going to be really, really bad. Tribal leaders told NBC26 the casino's security breach was beyond significant. Menominee officials didn't get back to us after multiple phone calls. Dozens of local community members I spoke with today say they expect the casino to open any day now. Here in Kashina, Ben Boken, NBC26. Ben, thank you. The Menominee Casino is not confirmed if its cyber attack required a ransom to get computer systems back up and running. But here are some similar events we've seen across the country. The Colonial Pipeline, one of the world's largest gas distributors, paid over $4 million when it was hacked. JBS Meat Packaging also fell victim to a cyber attack that affected every plant across America.